we are gonna link into our database file press next we are gonna create a new connection this one uh, appears because I have the oracle.net tools so click change if you see something like that you should what you have to see is this window okay you are gonna work with Microsoft Access database file press OK browse for the file select the database file test your connection if you get a succeed ma a message press OK OK select next now this window is asking if you want to include the database file with your application press yes uh, press next now this window is asking if you want to include these tables in, in your application in other words if you want to access the data in these tables uh, so check these and press finish and there you go now your application is linked now the data source is test db data set now if, if we check the chart the wizard just created the data set so now we have the graphical user interface the binding source and the data set okay what we need to do is to select something called the data member obviously we can access more than one table in the database right so we must specify which table we are going to access this is the data member in our case so we want to access people names when you select that and you check the place under the window you are gonna see something interesting which is the table uh, people names table adapter okay so let's go back to here now we have the data grid view we are having the binding source we are having the test DP data set we are having the people names table data adapter okay and we surely have the database so now we have all the layers okay as you can see now the only thing remaining here is that although we created all of this we didn't tell the data grid view to use our data source okay or our binding source I'm sorry our binding source so after selecting the data grid view search for the binding source this is it if you open that you can see the BS right here okay as soon as you select that you and look at your window you will see that you can uh, it the data grid directly display the ID and person name now let's run this and see if it works run the application and you can see the information available for you right away okay so this is pretty much interesting right now uh, I will rep repeat this again just to make sure that you guys understand the idea okay your database is included with the application right now this is it okay first thing that happens when you run the application is that the table adapter will retrieve the information from the database and then it's gonna update the data set later on the data set will be used to update the information of the data grid view through the binding source okay now if I double click on the form I, I will go to the load method now check this line you're gonna see this line created by the wizard now people names table adapter dot full test db data set dot people names what this is saying is that use the adapter and fold the buffer which uh, 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 fold the buffer okay the buffer is the data set for sure okay so as we said before from this chart the adapters job is to prepare the information and put it in uh, in the data set okay so this is actually what's happening if, if we now go and comment this out and run the information uh, run the application you'll see that there is no information here okay now there is another thing here I'm gonna remove this okay what happens if we update the information okay now uh, from this chart if an uh, update operation happened into the graphical user interface the update should go back to the data set and then 
uh, we should call the adapter to update the database right now what are we gonna do is uh, run the application we are gonna change the name to Johnny okay and we assume the information is updated right so let's close this and open uh, this one wait a minute I'm sorry document and visual studio project select the latest one come over here my project nope I went to the wrong directory debug and here I have the database file and I have the executable this is the database file these are the names and the, as you can see the name is John so I'm gonna run the executable and I'm gonna change the name to Johnny okay and I'm gonna close this now if I open the database if I open the table I see the name is not being updated simply because uh, the information is only updated in the buffer it is uh, the update is not post uh, is not post back into the database if you check the chart what we did is changing the information in the data grid and these changes are carried out into the data set but not into the database I have to use the adapter to post the changes back now uh, let's come over here and uh, there is the common controls this button okay I'm gonna double click it now I'm gonna use this one dot update okay now I am gonna use this one copy so let me read to you what I have just said here I am telling the adapter to update the information into uh, in the database according to what is in the buffer that's what I am saying here okay so let me save this run the application okay I am gonna run the executable in the directory instead of this one because each time I'm gonna run it uh, the 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 database file is recreated so I want to make sure I am using the correct database file now so first of all I'm gonna run the executable so this is the executable right so I'm gonna write Johnny here and then I'm gonna close it if I open this one again I find it's John so now I'm gonna make it Johnny and the press the button close it now if I open the file I find the name is Johnny simply because I updated the information to database through the data adapter okay so this is pretty much the basic idea of of, uh, the, of how to work with uh, databases this is uh, the very first tutorial um, there will be more the next tutorial uh, we are gonna talk about using the controls uh, uh, in order to display the information and do some some work with that okay so uh, try try working with that at home do some experiment to make sure that you understand this and uh, also uh, just remember that this is not exactly 100% uh, uh, correct I modified it a little bit so that it's easier for us to understand the idea uh, if you want to make more uh, to understand exactly how it works uh, you should check the net okay so until we meet next week I hope you'll find this useful if you have any notes recommendation or anything else please uh, send me email I'll be happy to receive it 
Um, that will be all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.